This is a video by Richmond. Today we're working on a 1956 Volkswagen Beetle. And what we just did is we put a new radio in. This one right here. Pioneer 7500. Now, the reason we put this radio in is it has a rear USB port. So we can take all our songs, put it on a flash drive, put it in the back, and... Uh, Nobody will even know it's there, and we can play all our songs. Now, the problem with this particular car is that we cannot mount the radio in the normal position on the dash. The dash is too small, so we have to mount it in the kick panel underneath the rear seat. And this particular one right here has a display, if I can turn it on here. <coughs> And this display right here um, must take a lot of power in the unit or whatnot because I ran into a problem. It generated a lot of heat on the heat sink in the back. So today I want to show you my solution to uh, eliminate the, the heat back there. Here is the back of the radio. Here is the heat sink that got very warm back here. And here's my solution. Uh, I mounted a CPU fan from a computer. They run on 12 volts DC. We got the grounding strap that comes up from the floor here. And um, we mounted the fan to the strap. We got some standoffs, some tubing so we're off about three-eighths of an inch from the bracket here and um, the fan has three wires a red a black and a blue you only need the red live and the black which is ground and we mounted the ground wire down here to the bottom bolt on the fan and then here is the red wire comes up we went put a fuse in here and then we have the wire that goes out to the wire that supplies switched voltage to the radio and uh, here is our usb flash drive over here with all our songs so that's kind of slick right there now if we turn it on you'll see how it works I just had this on for about 15 minutes and that heat sink was cool as a cucumber. Okay, hopefully that helps somebody that is doing the same project that I just did with the old Volkswagen mounting the radio underneath the rear seat. Thanks for watching guys.